So the next thing she asked was um, following your passion, staying true to yourself. Um, we'll start with uh, following your uh, following your passion. Um, Steve Harvey once said, "What is to figure out your talent? Because everybody has a talent. Everyone has a talent, whether you think you don't or not. Everybody has a talent." Steve Harvey said, "So what's one thing you are so good at? Like you're the best at that you do. And you're just really good at. That you, okay, sorry, I'll start again. What's one thing that you do so good at with the least amount of effort? That's your talent." Now you gotta sit, now, now sit, harbor it, think deeply about it, because it's not just what you like, it's what you're good at, like what you're good at, and you don't, and you do it without, like you literally, little to no effort, little to no effort, that's your talent, now, figure that out, it takes a while, because I, I really wasn't, I don't know, because, I don't know, I thought, I, I always thought it was a diff other things, and then I figured it wasn't, I don't know, like, it's something that you have to like decipher on your own and figure out. But I like you know, but sometimes you could be wrong. You could tell yourself like this is it, but it might not be it. Like you know what I mean? But you gotta sit at that's what he said and it kinda just helped me like put things into perspective when I heard him say it. I was like, Oh okay, let me look I'll look into that and figure that out myself then. Figure out your talents. You'll figure it out. Once you figure it out you'll be good. You will be good. But yeah, he said that. So with that is, I feel like a, a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people don't follow their dreams. They, I feel like people stopped dreaming. People just are trying to play it safe because people feel like it's too risky or it's too, it's too much, you know, it's too much. Like you're doing all that, like who do you think you are type shit. Well, I mean, whoa. I mean, don't 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 struggle with that imposter uh, that imposter concept because it's it's real. And I, I remember going through it. and My mentor was telling me he was like, "Oh, Destiny, this is normal. This is the imposter effect. You think because you are just another girl who loves makeup. Like, why is it that you can? Why is it that you can?" You think you could achieve all these things and I was like yeah like why do I feel like I don't know I was feeling like whoa like who do I think I am like what am I trying what am I getting myself into type thing and he was like that's thing that's normal like you should not feel any le like you shouldn't feel like you can't you know and I was like oh, okay so I feel like a lot of people have that even before even getting into the whole following your dreams thing and what why is that I feel like that's just that's society we're told to Stay, you know, live in the box. Stay in your comfort zone. Don't do, don't take risks. Be safe. That's what's gonna help you, or whatever they say it is. BS. Y'all know I'll mess with the government. They be doing too much. The government would make for you to fail anyway. So I'm like, ain't got time, guys. Mm -mm, no thank you. So I feel like I'm always. I believe personally. I believe in follow your dreams. Completely follow your dreams because, then again. Like what do you regret is forever so if you don't do something you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life that you didn't take that chance or you didn't do what you wanted to do or you didn't you know take that job offer or you didn't you know what I mean so it's like it's either you do it fail at it or maybe succeed at it you know or you don't do it at all and then you regret not doing it you regret not following whatever it is you wanted to do and this is one thing I feel like we have to stop caring what other people think because those people are not relevant. Those people don't, they don't matter. Like, you should not care what home Nyamumu thinks about you. You know what I'm saying? Like, who cares? You have to just do you and do things for yourself. Do everything in intent with, like, yourself. I feel like a lot of people don't do anything for themselves anymore. They do things for other people. Like, like I was saying, stop spending money on people or stop spending money to impress people you don't even like. That's the same thing with stop not following your dreams to keep those people who are afraid of you happy. Like, no. Girl, bye. No. If you want to run for something, run for it. If you want to be prom queen, be prom queen. Like, who? Why does it matter what so and so thinks of you 
being a prom queen. If you want to do, I don't know, if you want to be an actress, you want to be a model, do it. Like, I feel like a lot of people have this problem with this, um, like, dog-eat-dog -dog world. It's not really like that, honestly. That's, that's the world people who are afraid and are insecure live in because, yeah, a lot of people do the same thing, but that doesn't mean you can't do the same thing. And I think a lot of people... Everybody wants to be a model. Everybody wants to be a makeup artist. Everybody wants to be a photographer. Everybody wants to be a promoter. Everybody wants to be a rapper. Everybody wants to be a basketball player. I bet. Do you, know, do you understand how many players are in the NBA? Do you, do you know how many players are in the NBA? So you're telling me that someone saw LeBron being a basketball player and they're like, I don't want to be a basketball player no more. Like, he's being a basketball player. It's too much. Boy, bye. Then there would be no NBA. Same with football. Same with the makeup industry. Same with YouTube. Same with just everything. I just, I don't like, I, I just think it's sad that people think that they can't do the same thing everybody else is doing. It's like, there's enough room for every body, like, like, what? The sky is the limit. Like, there's room for everyone, okay? Once you're in there, then you decide what's going to make you different. What's your niche? What's, what is it about you that's going to make you someone that people are going to want to, that like, what makes you special? And that's what kind of differentiates people successful people and people who are just you know doing it because for like instant gratification we'll say I feel a lot of people have this instant gratification thing delayed gratification is a lot better than instant gratification I learned that the hard way I was always looking for instant results looking for feel like I feel good about it right away like right now like that's what I wanted I want an instant like you know I want to feel it right away but no delayed gratification is a lot better you grind, 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 grind. I'm telling you, you grind, grind, grind. Later on, what you, the outcome of waiting for that gratification is always so much better. So much better. And like, these people have that misconception of like, oh, like if so and so is doing it, I don't want to do it. No, that's not what it means. That's not what it means at all. That's not what it means, you know? Follow your dreams. If you want to be a model, yeah, everybody wants to be a model. Why don't you do it too? Like, just. Do it and do some. Make it yourself different, basically. Find a different way to do it. Don't be the same as everyone else. Do it a different way. That's that's literally what, like. Do you know what I mean? You can't. But this is. I'm not talking about this about for like simple things. I'm talking about your dreams here, people. I'm talking about things that that you can't sleep at night. Things that drive you every morning. Things that make you like. You just can't sit still. Like, stuff like that is kind of something I'm telling you, like, follow those things. Don't let other people make you feel like you can't do that. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm personally someone who I believe you should always follow your dreams. Don't ever stop dreaming because when you stop dreaming, now you're just living. And it's just like, you're in limbo and nothing ever happens. And remember I said, ew, if nothing ever happens and everything's the same for too long, I start to feel uncomfortable. I start to feel like something's wrong. I'm doing something wrong. Why is nothing changing? I gotta fix it. I gotta find out something new. So stuff like that. And, you know, I believe, I believe in, of course, I'm a, I believe in God, of course. I'm very spiritual, you know. So I feel like if God has something for you, you can't run from it, one. Two, it will come for you when it's for you. There's, I feel there's people who run away from things they're naturally good at because of other people but for some reason those things just are always coming to them you're blocking your blessings please stop blocking your blessings like you're insulting you're insulting the universe and God please follow your dreams if they constantly are coming for you you know and there's people who the seed was planted in you you have the dream you have the goal you have the mindset you have everything but you're too afraid to do it and there keeps there's there's signs that keep coming the signs keep coming and you just won't do it. Why is that? And then there's, you know, people who, they, they, they go, they follow their dreams, they're doing it, they're doing it. And then they wonder, oh, why has nothing happened yet? Because it's been a month. That's why nothing's happened yet. You need to keep pushing. You need to keep going. Because instant gratification, you, that's what you're looking for, you're not going to get that. No, nope. Not with hard work. When you want to do something big, you can't, you can't wait after a month. You can't stop after two months. You can't even stop after a year. You can't. You have to just keep going. It doesn't stop. Like, you have to... The, like, the grind is real. That's why when it's your passion, 
days like that, you get you can get past those days. Because I have days where I wake up and I'm like, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm sick of this. I'm over it. I don't want to wake up today. I just want to stay in bed all day. Like, I don't want to do nothing. Like, I don't want to do literally nothing. I'm like, I'm too tired for this. This is difficult. Blah, blah, blah. Psh. Then you remember why you're doing it. It literally has a fire inside of you. And there's no way you cannot get up and continue on the rest of the day. It's your passion. It's what you love. You know what I mean? I feel like find what makes you that, like, you know, makes you feel like that. That's something that you should probably do because if that's that, then you need to follow that. If it's if it's making people happy, all right, there's the seed. Now find a way to make it grow. Find a way. What, what's going to, what can you do that can make other people happy that's in your, like, what can you do? If it's basketball. Okay, go figure out how to do it. Girl or boy, go do your thing. Especially with girls. Like, I feel like they don't want girls to be basketball players. Girl, go play ball. Go play ball. If you want to be a housewife, girl, get you a husband. Be that housewife. Be the best housewife you can be. Let's be very serious. And if you want to do... Like, I'm serious, people. Like, your mind is so complex. If you literally want to do something, apply yourself, change your mindset, and do it. Simple as that. It doesn't get any easier than that. I'm telling you guys. It's that simple. But then there's, you know, your brain is meant to keep you safe. So, you know, you doubt yourself. You tell yourself you can't do things. The imposter effect comes in like, oh, why do I think I can do this? Who do I think I am? I have that issue a lot. Like, I want to post something and I'll be like, oh, people are going to think I think I'm way, like, I think I'm somebody. Well, I mean, if you don't act like you're somebody, then you'll be nobody. As simple as that. You were like, oh, you carry yourself, you think you're better than everyone. Not even close. That's definitely not it. It's, okay, if I don't carry me, who's going to carry me? You? Are you going to carry me? Yeah, I don't think so. So, if you're not your biggest cheerleader, who's going to, who's clapping for you? You cannot, you cannot look for affirmations anywhere. Like, I clap for myself loud as fuck before I do anything on social media, if I do anything to anyone. Because I know what I'm doing is a good thing. So when people don't clap... Girl, we already had a clap session back here with me and Destiny. We good. Like, we are good over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't look for other people to clap for you. Because, remember, the dream is planted in you. The, the seed is planted in you. So nobody else sees it the way you see it. You know what I'm saying? Some people are not going to understand what you're doing. But most of the time, you got to you gotta force them to believe. People don't believe in you. You got to make them believe in you. Like, that's literally it. I'm, my mentor, my old mentor, she told me... Um, Oh, you can never have a makeup brand that's only for black people and it be successful. Yeah, did I let that stop me? It's like, girl, but... Ish. No, it didn't. Because why am I going to let her tell me something that I literally thought, like, I... It's my... It's what is what was festered in me. So when she said no, of course she said no. She didn't see the vision. She didn't see what I was seeing. She, she wasn't... She didn't view what I already saw in my head happen, you know? So, of course, she's going to say no, which was normal. I said, girl, well, you got to bounce because you and I are not on the same page, and I need a new mentor. I got myself a new mentor. He's suited me. He's lit. This man's a luxury real estate broker. Bruh. I've never met someone so smart in my life. Like, wow. Like, we'll talk here and there. We'll just kind of send, tell me a couple things. Like, you know, how was everything? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, boy is good like you know i'm like oh, i'm stressed about this is and that he's like that's normal that's normal like he has his own business so he knows you know and this is the thing when you want to do something you need to sometimes find people who are who are more successful than you are who are smarter than you who are further above you because they know something you don't know that's why they're there and you're not there you know what i mean so i was like bet let me find you let me find you someone who's a and the thing is we just accidentally bumped into each other i was just tweeting about how I want to do something, I have a plan, blah, 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 He said, he jumped in the DM, said, what are, you, what are you talking about? And I was like, oh, well, best mentor ever. I haven't spoken to him in a while, actually, so I think I might text him today. Now that I just, like, spoke about it, like, I feel like I should talk to him and ask him some things. I forgot why, I don't, like, him and I, like, I've been so busy, like, I don't have a chance to talk to him. Before, I wasn't doing a lot because the products were in here, blah, 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 so I had a time to, like, talk to him about stuff. I haven't spoken to him lately, so... I'm about, to talk, I'm about to call him later. I'm about to be what's good, my nigga? What's, what it is? Anyways. So, yeah. I believe you should follow your dreams completely. And don't just half-ass it. If you're going to go in, go all the way in. Don't halfway do it. Because then 
you're doing yourself a, you're doing yourself a disservice you're wasting your own time if I'm not like that's how I am if someone tells me to do something and I'm not probably gonna do it 100% I don't do it because why I'm wasting your time and my own time time is currency people and that's where choosing your friend group comes really wisely I don't like to waste my time with people who don't help me grow or not helping me in any aspect of my life because now I'm wasting valuable time on me that I could be spending on someone else who can help me elevate and grow and be a better person. So why is it that I'm going to hang out with someone who has low frequency so then I got low frequency? Like, if you know yourself fully, you know who you're going to keep yourself around who you not keep yourself around. I had a group of friends where all the time I never spoke. Like, I was never spoke, but I was quiet, I was insecure, I was just to myself a lot. That's, anyone who knows me, like, personally knows that's not me. I'm loud as hell. I talk way too much. Like, I talk way too much. So the fact that I was, and, I'm in, and I was insecure, from where, who's insecure, I wasn't before. Man, that, did that situation make me insecure? I had to get myself out of there because I looked at myself one day and I was like, you're not even being yourself. Like, you're hanging around people where you can't really be yourself. That's not normal. Because then you're forcing yourself to be down here when that's not even you. Get yourself out of the situation. Anybody got time to be ugh, not themselves? Grow by. Always be yourself. And when you're yourself, the people, you'll start to lose people who you know, like, they're not for you. The people who are okay with you being yourself, they're going to stick around because... Because if, listen, if you're yourself, that's more, I love people who are authentically themselves. That, I'm like, bruh, like, that's a fresh, that's, that's amazing. Because there's so many people out here who are not themselves. They put out this persona of, they're like this and like that. And I'm like, girl. And you can feel that. You can, you can sense that energy from someone. I don't know. I can read people energy really well. I can tell when someone is just like. You can tell they're not being themselves or the situation is making them act a certain way. And then that's where I'm like, mm, man, I'll just kind of wait for you to be yourself. And then I'll, be like, and then I'll start to like you that way. But if you, then I'm like, then I kind of like, I'll hint like, oh, so like, you know. That's when I start, I start to talk to people. I'm like, so how are you? Like, what are you up to? What do you do for a living? So and so and so and so. I love asking people, what do you want to do? That's my favorite question ever. What do you want to do? And they're like, what do you mean? And I'm like, like, with your life, like, what are you trying to do? Like, what do you, what do you want to do? Like, what makes you, like, what's your goal? Like, what are you trying to do, you know? A lot of people don't get the question because that question apparently is weird. But I mean, you know, people are different. We're going to do a smoky under lash lash. Yeah. But yeah, I ask people that all the time. What, what do you want to do? When people complain about the job, I'm like, then what do you want to do? Because your job is temporary. Or you plan on working there forever. Oh, that's, I'm sorry. That sucks. following your passion it's my thing it's what I, I love it when people do like you can just tell when someone just loves doing something uh, it makes me just like uh, get fired up get excited I get motivated even more you know I love that kind of stuff uh, she also said staying true to yourself that goes a lot again with um, self-development If you truly know yourself, and you know yourself, there's no way anyone can deter you from being yourself. And you can always stay true to who you are. I just always like to think, if I wouldn't like something done to me, I wouldn't do it to someone else. That's why negative comments are so like weird to me when people like, talk about negatively about people. Because people, like, people like to be, like to talk, you know, that rah-rah, like Nyak says. But... When, uh, when it's vice versa, you know you don't like it. So I'm like, then, why are you the victim when it turn when, you know, rules are switched, but you love to talk about people? That's weird. That's not okay. And that's, talk the thing is, gossip is, gossiping is a disease, people are like, I'll tell you why it's a disease. When people talk about other people, they get a high off of that. They love it. It makes them feel warm inside. They love it. It's like, oh, yeah, so I feel good about myself. Yay. That's not okay. Putting other people down should not make you feel good. That should make you feel bad. Like, whenever I catch myself slipping or something about someone else, I'm like, oh, man, okay, stop. 
I don't want to say about that person because if someone's talking about me that negatively, I'd be like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, y'all a bunch of haters, y'all insecure. So I don't like to come off with someone like that's like talks about people because one, I like to mind my own business because again, people self development, everybody needs to go through it. So if some people aren't there, that's where all that negativity comes from and then, you know. So always stay like if you know yourself, don't get out of character for other people. Like I refuse to get upset over something that I can't control. Because then I'm getting upset about something that I can't do anything about. Someone's getting me out of character, so I'm gonna, you know, get upset about something, and it's not, it's not worth it. So, I, um, I just feel like that just starts with being okay with yourself because this is the thing. Society has made it or has dubbed us as unbeautiful, aggressive, and whatnot. So. It's not really people's jobs to make us feel good about ourselves to begin with. So, it, it really just comes down, to, again, to yourself. You have to be okay with yourself. So then when people do put you down about your skin or about whatever it is, you're not affected by it. At least not a large portion of you will be upset about it. You're more like, well, you're rude. But moving on because this is not a fact. This is not true. This is why self-development is so important. You have to... Be okay with yourself fully. Like you have to actually be like, yo, Destiny, you're lit. Like who cares what so and so and so and so think, you know? Like, especially with Instagram, like the way like Instagram would be too much. Like I don't believe it's too much. Because they they think they say they love dark skins, but only when we're oiled up and half naked. Like, it's a, honestly, personally, I think it's a fad. A lot of people, it's a fad for them. They love it on Instagram, but they're not going to go try to haul out a dark skin girl or whatever. They, they'll just... So, yeah. Um, personally, you have to love yourself. So then when people do diss you or they come for you negatively, it won't touch you. Because, to me, don't consider what you're hearing. Consider the source. Not the information, the source. So when, some, when someone says, oh, so-and-so is talking bad about you, right? I'm like, oh, who? It's always somebody who is so irrelevant or somebody who you shouldn't even care is speaking on you. And that's when you're kind of like, okay, again, I'm a bigger person. Why does this person's opinion even matter to me when I know who I am? That's why when I hear absurd things about myself, I just laugh because, I mean, well, I know myself and... That rumor seems a little far-fetched, even for me, you know? So it's like, you have to just, you gotta be okay with yourself, because then, because people are gonna talk, no one's gonna, people are gonna hate you, it's just normal. People are gonna diss you. It sucks that our skin tone is a thing, or even like a, like literally a thing. We have to look past that, because I don't let it define me. I don't let people not thinking I'm beautiful, or not thinking I'm lit, or smart enough really stop me from doing what I want to do to be honest with you like I don't care enough I don't yeah I don't let people's opinions on me really affect me because that's their opinion and most of the time the opinion is coming from an evil place or a place where a lack of understanding because people will look at you and they'll think one thing of you because of what social media portrays you as not who you really are. I feel like I get that a lot. People will meet me and they'll say, Oh, you're actually really nice or you're really sweet, you're really down to earth or like you know, you're not you don't seem as bougie or bitchy as you really seem or whatever. And I'm like, see that's just a lack of inf that's a lack of information and understanding. If you under if you knew me, your perception would be different. But because you look at what you see, you're assuming something out of your own imagination, you know what I'm saying? That's why I always tell people you shouldn't care what other people think because one People hate anyways, let's be very serious, people are going to hate you anyway, so why not do what you want to do? Because at least it will benefit you when you're doing something you like, regardless of what people think. Because if you don't do what you want to do because of other people, now everybody's unhappy. They're still going to talk about you, and you're not doing anything you want, so it's a lost cause. So 
Always just do you. Always do your thing. Personally, I tell myself I'm beautiful every day. I tell myself I'm the bomb. I tell myself I'm lit. I tell myself that I'm amazing. I tell myself that I'm a good person. Not not in a conceited way. In a, I'm reassuring myself that I am these things until I believe it. You know what I'm saying? Because if you constantly tell yourself you're not cute or you're stupid or you're, you know. Oh man, my eyes look itchy. Yeah. Yeah. If you constantly tell yourself negative things about yourself. Bruh, you'll eventually start to believe them, and then that's where bitter people come from, and anger, and all the, the stuff that no one really... Ayo, I just broke my eyeliner pencil. Ay -ya -ya. Yeah, Ayo! It's broken, broken, y'all. But yeah, tell yourself things that make you feel good about yourself, so then you carry yourself like someone who's full, like, you're full with yourself. Like, you believe in yourself, you're happy with yourself, so then you're not a negative person, because... Hate stems from deep within people. It doesn't just come from nothing. It stems deep as hell. So if someone is not always just like, that's because inside, they're rotten inside. Like they need to work on that. And people can change. Peel those layers, girl, like an onion. You'll cry every single layer you peel because you get to know yourself a little more and more. You get to the center, you're going to be fully whole, I'm telling you. Like you're just happier. Like happier. But it's a long way. Like I'm not even there. Like I'd be, oh man, it's hard. You know, I'm not even close. But even working on it and getting past the first couple layers, I'm happier because now I don't care so much about other people's thoughts and I'm more, my own mindset is I think about me and my family a lot more and not try to think about the outer side of everything. I always focus on my main goal, which will always be my family, myself, you know what I mean? And people around my surroundings. That stuff doesn't bother me, you know what I mean? That stuff won't matter to me. People aren't clapping for me. Destiny is clapping for me. We be having, bruh, the way I have my own cheer section and it's only me, that shit loud as hell though. Loud as hell. Why? Because we don't care. Like, we don't have time for other people to tell us that we suck or not tell us that we're even good enough. So we're just going to force it, believe in ourselves, and clap for ourselves. I be clapping loud as hell for myself. Why? Because nobody else is clapping. And nobody got time for that. Because I'm like, I think I'm lit, so why not clap for myself, you know?